All right, these are my upper trailing arm arms. And as you can see, they're brand new, one race. And they're destroyed, ovaled the end. They're all brand new. So, the idea is to throw these away and go to a different option what's actually going to work. So, I'm going to use the old hex type. The old hex bar. So the idea is, what I'll do, and then put a bigger harm joint on it. So the idea is, even if we use the original mount, or if, you know, depending what we use, we can have a spacer on both sides, and that will allow this to move side to side without putting any pressure there. And obviously on the other end, we'll do the same thing on the diff. So... It will allow us to move a lot further, a lot easier, and free that diff up. And a free diff is meant to be good. You're meant to have one or two bushes in there, and that, that'll be on the bottom. I think having the top free will allow it to move a lot better. And the bottom might, we might change the bottom to these as well eventually too. We'll give it a go for the f first half of the season. Um, and we'll see how we go. I'm going to, I've measured roughly where it's going to be. I want a bit of play so I can move it roughly where it's going to be and then I want to be able to chop it there have a bit so I can go in and out with a bit of play you don't want to go too short and then you because I like to change it as you can see they are different sizes you know they are different um, and that's why we get a bit of that bending but anyway that's a long story so um, yeah so I'll end up chopping that I'll, I'll tap it out um, run a tap down it clean it all up Put, buy two brand newies for this one and do the same thing make another one for the longer one and buy two, we'll buy two brand new hexes actually we'll buy four so have two spared because we don't know if this is going to work and the last thing you want to do is drive five hours break one on the last heat and don't get to go to the feature again it takes two minutes to change so that's the plan are we go all right or we're going to go shit so to me it doesn't really matter but yeah we'll get a couple of these from old um kenko all right guys we're back all right so quick, just a quickie. All right, so we want to turn this into that, or well, that, you know what I mean. We put a heim joints, make it the perfect size. All right, so close enough. 235 is what the hole, we want hole to hole. So what we want to do is go from roughly the middle of the heim joint out to here, 235, mark it with a black dot, already have. All right, now what I do is I go to the black dot, I take 45 off it, cool. From that black dot, I measure it, and we are at 145. So half of 145 is 7250. I've already marked halfway of the shaft. 175, 125. Right there, mark it, flip it around, mark it there. Chop the ends off, boom, boom, we're done. I, uh, have a thread all the way through. Uh, it looks like they are, but I just figured instead of just chopping one in and doing that, I'll just go halfway. Should last. It should be a bit stronger. So anyway, I've never done this before. I've done it on the front ends and stuff, but nothing on the back. So pretty much all this comes from Pro One uh, race, race parts uh, at Kenko Kenko Parts. So um, these are twenty five bucks a piece. The home joints and they're Pro Molly. Uh, the lock nuts are like three dollars or two dollars trust me just buy them don't chop a piece of that off it's not worth it it's not worth the hassle so we um pretty sure hundred and thirty dollars i'll get the exact price when we're finished to make two upper arms you can't even buy genuine ones or even the bushes close to that so once these are done they're going to be smick they'll just let the car move where it needs to up and down like that compared to just stiff like it was just yeah it wouldn't even when the pan bar taken out she was just rock hard so now she is going to be hopefully it's gonna it's gonna help a lot and um let her all free and then because every time i race i actually think about what kind of damage i'm doing hitting the holes and i don't know i just i like to be able to just forget about it and never look at it again and that's what we're going to do hopefully so next thing you're going to see i'll be chopping these bad boys down and making these exact mounts and then the next thing after that you'll be seeing me putting obviously new ones or better looking ones or whatever i come up with on the actual body for these to mount onto and put the spaces and everything in in there and do that so hopefully then when i'm ready to do that there might be another 
day or so before I get all that sorted. But um, yeah, we'll see you then. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. This is the end of the video. This is part one done. Part two is going to be me cutting these, fitting them into the T52. But we got some good news. Stubby coolers are on the way. We got a fair few stubby coolers on the way. A lot of people pre-order. A lot of people telling us they want them. So we got. We don't. Every dollar we make goes back into making more merchandise and making cool shit for you guys. So like and subscribe and keep pushing the kush.